Hello everyone. In, a, in the previous video we discussed Lagrange interpolation. That is, we were given a set of grid points xi and function values fi at those points. And we used Lagrange, the Lagrange interpolation formula or the method of undetermined coefficients to find the unique polynomial that goes through these points. In this video, we will assume that we do not only know the function values at those points, but we also know the function derivatives at these points. We then seek the polynomial that satisfies the same collocation conditions as before, but also satisfies a number of oscillation, oscillation conditions. That is, uh, the derivative of the polynomial p of x uh, coincides with the derivative of the function f of x at these nodes xi. We call this an oscillating polynomial or a Hermite interpolating polynomial. To find this polynomial we can, again, we can again use the method of undetermined coefficients. So let's go to Mathematica and consider a cubic polynomial. So let's define a polynomial p of x. And we can use the palette again to write this sum. So this cubic polynomial has four unknown coefficients. That means we can impose four conditions on it. So we will choose to impose two collocation conditions and two oscillation conditions. So the equations we want to solve for are uh, p of x zero must equal the function value at f at x zero and p of x one must equal the function value at f one and I need a double equals here because these are equations not equalities um, so these are the two collocation conditions and we're also gonna impose uh, osculation conditions. That means uh, the derivative of the polynomial at x0 must equal uh, the function derivative at, at f0 and let's call that df0 and the derivative of the polynomial at x1 must equal the function derivative at that point. Okay, so this gives us four equations that are linear in the coefficients c0, c1, c2, and c3. So we have uh, four equations for four unknowns. So let's write down the list of unknowns. Um, and I can copy and paste them. I can do this uh, because this could be a long list. Uh, we could automate this. Um, so we, we could write it explicitly like that. Uh, or I could use the table command and say C of I. with i going from 0 to 3. Um, okay, so now we want to solve uh, this system of equations for these unknowns. And as discussed in the previous video, uh, we can use the solve command to solve this system. And the syntax is first we specify the equations, which we have already 
defined in this list and then the unknowns and we ask Mathematica to solve this 4 by 4 system and we get an error and the reason we don't get the result is that uh, there's a typo here I forgot to put the prime here so this must be the derivative of v at x1 must equal the derivative of f at x1 so let's correct this equation and let's execute this again and let's solve the system again and this time we get uh, the correct answer we can try and simplify this result as before or we can try and further simplify it using full simplify um, it didn't change much so let's call this solution um, and then let's pick up the first term of that list uh, which is a replacement rule and then uh, let's substitute this uh, this solution into the polynomial p of x so we can write p of x slash dot solution one and then the solution c0 c1 c2 and c3 these coefficients are substituted in this into this polynomial p of x and we can try and simplify this result and uh, this is the interpolating polynomial and osculating polynomial that goes through these uh, two points x0 and x1 and has the specified derivative values at these points um, so let's call this p solution of x and we can compare that to uh, what we get uh, with the Mathematica function interpolating polynomial so again you can use a question mark and then interpolating polynomial and we can look at the syntax and according to the Mathematica documentation uh, if you look at the first uh, case uh, or actually the second case this was Lagrange interpolation that we showed in the previous video um, this is for uh, two-dimensional or higher interpolation uh, this case described here um, tells you that you can specify function values and derivatives at some points and this constructs an interpolating polynomial that reproduces derivatives as well as function values so let's try and use this syntax here so let's say I want the interpolating polynomial that goes through x0 and has uh, function value f0 and function derivative df0 so that's the first data point and then the next data point uh, I'm going to copy and paste the first one uh, and everything is the same except this is at the uh, next grid point x1 and now let's close the brackets and let's uh, state that we need the polynomial to be a function of x and Mathematica returns the desired polynomial so let's call this polynomial p math of x and let's compare the two so first of all let's check if they satisfy the collocation conditions so p sol of x0 and we get this result the numerator and denominator should cancel so let's use simplify and indeed we get f0 as we should and x1 we get f1 and let's try the derivatives now p prime of x1 is df1 and p prime of x0 is df0 so 
uh, indeed this polynomial satisfies the collocation and oscillation conditions and uh, now let's check if uh, our polynomial is the same as what Mathematica gave us here uh, we can do that by subtracting them so p solution of x minus p Mathematica of x um, we don't immediately get zero but if we simplify then we do get zero as we should because once again this is a linear system so it has a unique solution in this case uh, in general one can use more points uh, like three or four and so on and one can also specify higher order derivatives and uh, this is very useful when uh, derivative information is known uh, in advance analytically for example when we're solving a differential equation then if it's a first order system then the first order derivatives are actually given by the differential equations themselves and if it's a second order system then we also know the second order derivatives and so on uh, or you can actually differentiate the differential equation and obtain the higher order derivatives analytically um, this is a very useful way of uh, constructing a numerical scheme that uses uh, exact derivative information to do interpolation and then we can integrate these polynomials to construct numerical integration schemes and we will discuss uh, numerical integration based on Hermite interpolation in a future video. Thank you.